All right, guys, we got the master controller unboxing and setup video here. So you get your package, always nice and wrapped in foam from Optic LED. Got your master controller in here. Zone 1, Zone 2, power port. You also got uh, these little guys. You can uh, push these into the wall. And then these two little hooks will grab the hooks on the back right there. So yeah, you can just easily push those into wood or um, drywall or cork board. And those will hold the uh, controller up on the back side there. We got three of the RJ11 cables, zone one, zone two, and then the spare one there. And we got the or the plug-in here. Controller plug-in. So yeah, let's get this plugged in and turned on, and we'll show you guys how to get it set up. Alright guys, so when you plug in your controller, this is what you'll see. This will be the main, um, the main display here. So what you'll want to do first is go into System Set and check your time. It is quarter after 7 here, so click the time. Click up to 7, 7.15, and 7.15 is AM, 1 to uh, 11, essentially 0, 0, see there, 0, 0, this would be uh, um, 12.15 in the morning, so 0, 0 is, you know, 12 AM, that's 1 AM, so you go to 7.15 AM, push set. It is a 24 hour clock so 13 becomes 1 p.m. and so forth from there. So after 13 you just minus 12 from whatever number you have here and that's what time it is in the p.m. So 20 minus 12 is 8 p.m. This would be 8 15 p.m. So it's, it's essentially a military clock is the way I look at it. Uh, so no AM, PM to get mixed up. Just go like that. We'll go 716 now. Push set. So right now I am only running the slim uh, 600H. So I will turn off channel one, or sorry, channel two and channel three as the slim 600 only has one channel. So then you come back like this. There's your manual dimming. So you can turn it up and down however you see fit. Then you can enter timer mode and you can see it comes with these two pre-programmed in there just to show you how it goes. So 7 a.m. We will go 7 a.m. on, but we want to come on at say 15% power. So you go 7 a.m. 15% power. And then you go to the next one. So you want to go back to 7. And we'll go 7, 15 a.m., 15 minutes later. Um, and then we'll set the dimmer to 35, say. So now you see at 7 a.m., we come on 15% power. 7.15, the light gets bumped up to 35% power. You can come over here, add another 15 minutes to it, set it up to you know, 60%, come on finger, there we go. 60% power, just like that. So there's your sunrise. If all you wanted to do was, you know, max out at 60% power, that's your sunrise. Um, and we'll call this the bloom cycle. So we'll go 12 hours later, which is, <laughs> which is 19 17 
So at 19, which is essentially 7 p.m., um, you can go set it like that, and then you can uh, have your light go down to 20%, and then you can go to um, 15 minutes later is how I generally like to work them. So you go to 1915 and then you would set the light to 0%. Boom. And there you go. That's a pretty simple sunrise and then an even more simple sunset, you know, just really drives down right there. But essentially you just keep going with the same thing. So, you know, you could do down to 50% at, you know, 7 p.m., down to 20% at 7.15 and then off at 7.30 or however you like it. But it's really easy, guys. It's a really easy uh, interface. Uh, it's it's made to be as simple as possible. Um, and if you don't, if you click into here and you're like, oh crap, I don't want to do anything here, just push no. It won't remove anything even if you've clicked on this one and you push no. It's not going to delete it unless you hit the X over here on the side. Um, so the next thing is if you leave it on this menu, whatever time frame you were at when you entered the settings menu, that's what the light will stay on at. So you need to come back to this menu here so that your timer will work properly. If you leave the settings open, your light will not turn off at 9.15 because when you went into settings, it could have been like 7.15 in the morning. So that's what time and percentage the setting controller is gonna keep the light at while you're doing your settings. So you gotta make sure you back out and you wanna be on this timer mode menu right here. That's what you want. If you go all the way back, it's gonna ask you, you know, the timer mode will stop running and then you can go back to here and you can manually dim your light if you're working in there and you want to dim it down for a few or whatever but you got to make sure you click the timer mode again and there you go that's uh that's pretty well it um you can also hit the preview button so it will preview and cycle through this and it'll show you um what your light's going to do you know you can you know set it to start so make sure you're watching it and at 7 a.m it turns on and then at 7 15 p.m it turns off so you just want to have a look through that and then you got your temperature and your humidity sensor down here which is built into the controller so it will take the temperature and the humidity from where the controller is and then yeah you got your dual zone so that's just that's the exact same setup you just go into there go into settings and do your thing but since we're not running dual zone I'll close both of those, delete them so there's nothing even there, and then we'll just rock the zone one. Uh, and again, you can run 10 lights on each zone. Um, so yeah, that's what we got, guys. Really stoked to finally uh, have one of these bad boys in my hand. Uh, I've been playing with it uh, over the weekend here, and uh, yeah, we got uh, ours all set up nice and good here, but I thought I'd show you an unboxing and set up on a brand new device that i haven't touched yet so yeah hope you guys are doing well happy 420 stay safe cheers